This morning, one of Western New York's architectural icons has been fully restored to its original beauty. Designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, the Gray Cliff Estate has undergone nearly 20 years of work and restoration, and today it all comes to fruition. Daybreak's Joshua Robinson is live in Derby this morning. Good morning, Joshua. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Kate. If you've had a chance to stop by and hopefully learn a little bit about about the Darwin Martin House Complex in Buffalo, you might have also heard the story that his wife Isabel wasn't always a huge fan of that house. As a matter of fact, she was teetering on blindness. Uh, her eyesight was very bad, and she said that she wanted something with a little bit more sunlight. Now, here in Derby, no short supply of sunlight in this summer home, and today the historic Frank Lloyd Wright piece will celebrate the end of its long restoration project one of Buffalo's national historic places this was Wright's final piece he built in Western New York and the interior is something that's been focused on since 1997 before it was purchased by the Gray Cliff Conservancy there were actually a lot of fears back then that it would be torn down and used for condos but with the help of millions from the Buffalo Billions project and the rise of heritage tourism throughout Western New York the interior will finally be fully restored today Executive Director Bob Wooler tells me that the first time it's been fully restored since the 1930s, and their goal is to make it look exactly like it did those first few summers the Martin family stayed here. What we hear from a lot of folks is they come because it's a Frank Lloyd Wright property, but what we hear when they leave is, I didn't realize that the setting was so beautiful and so relaxing. This feeling of peace and serenity, I wish I could stay here all day. And so that's, the, that's our secret sauce, I think. That's what gets people. And what you're looking at now is a preview, some preview footage I got to shoot yesterday. I got to walk through the house and there are so many spots that have that same modern Frank Lloyd Wright feel to it. If you haven't had a chance to experience it yourself today at one o'clock, there will be a ribbon cutting to commemorate the completion of this massive project. And after today, there are still a few things left to do. I was told that there's a small garden just outside the house that needs to be restored. And the one other thing is the uh, stair tower along the water out in the backyard of the house. That will once again allow this summer house to have beach access. Reporting live, Joshua Robinson, Channel 2 News. What a beautiful spot. And to think that there was an idea to tear it down and build condos. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Can you imagine no. if that happened? And that's one of these things. I've lived in Western New York all my life, and I can't remember the last time I've been to the Darwin Martin House or to Great Cliff. Something right. I definitely love to explore. One day I'm going to introduce you to Hamburg. It's a <gasps> lovely place. <laughs>